Hi, I'm Tom, and in this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the card box tutorials. Ultimately, at the end of the tutorials, what we want to be able to do is to create our own user controls and use them in Windows Form projects. To do that, we're going to design and use a uh, user control called card box, which displays a playing card on a Windows Form. We're going to start the tutorial by reviewing my class library, which supports playing cards. So similar to the tutorials that you've been doing so far, my class library has enumerations for the card rank and suit. It has a playing card class, as well as a couple of other class, a deck class. Uh, there's a dealer class, which represents a, uh, like a casino shoe. There's also a hand class, but we'll, we'll get into that in that tutorial. Um, part of what we're going to do when we're reviewing that is I'm going to talk a little bit about how to use image resources. So we'll add, add image resources to your project and I'll show you how to access them in your code. Then we'll move on to actually designing and implementing our user control. We'll design the control, we'll add some control properties, and then we'll add some event handler to the control as well. And then finally, we'll create a simple Windows Form client pr uh, program and use the control inside it. So why would I want to create a user control in the first place? And uh, why would I want to create a class library? The simple reason for this is that I'm lazy. Uh, I'm going to create a number of applications which are dealing with uh, playing cards. And rather than reinvent the wheel each time in each application on how a playing card is represented, it's going to be a lot more convenient for me uh, to have a class library that defines it one way, and I simply reuse it in other applications. So this is a simple little application that I created, created very quickly um, that utilizes playing cards. So we can see here it's uh, the game of war. Um, we've got two playing cards displayed, and when the, the user clicks draw, uh, we can see that the, uh, there's a human and a, a computer player. They each draw a card, one wins and one loses. And if I just keep on hitting the draw, I can see uh, I can play this game forever. A simple little example. I utilize the very same type of, types of cards uh, in my Blackjack Simulator program, another um, probably a little more sophisticated uh, program, that, but I created it fairly quickly. So we can see there's uh, um, uh, two hands here, and cards can be flipped up and down and uh, that kind of stuff, but the, uh, the basic image is the same. So what I've done is I've created a user control that I could use in uh, either one of those applications. Oh, I busted there. So the basic idea is to create a library that can represent some generic stuff for a, uh, a card game. And then uh, simply, I can create as many card games as I want, similar to what you have to do in your final project creating uh, Duroc. The basic concept of uh, where we're going to is to create this control which displays an appropriate image uh, based on a suit and a rank, um, has the ability to turn the card uh, uh, face up or face down. Um, I want to be able to convert the card into a string uh, using the two string method which overrides system object. Um, I want to be able to respond to things like click events um, which uh, uh, are expected with these types of controls and I also want to be able to generate my own unique events which are you know not part of a standard control but might still be useful um, to our, uh, to our control. In this case, it's I want to have a, an event that happens, uh, fires off when the card is uh, flipped over. So a lot of the stuff in the tutorials that I talk about is uh, explained in detail in the course textbook, which is uh, beginning Visual C Sharp 2012 programming. Um, also, uh, there's a, a few little bits and pieces that I talk about that's uh, not immediately found in the chapters that we uh, cover. Um, so I also use the uh, uh, MSDN.NET uh, Framework class library, uh, which you can access as well. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about uh, my class library, which uh, underlays the um, uh, user control that we'll ultimately create. Thanks very much.